Hey everybody, it's Emily, the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the sand versus eggshell bins for an update. Okay, so I'm starting with the sand bin today, guys. This is the um, bin that last week we added, I believe, eight bananas to each of these bins. It's actually been about a week and a half, um, but I'm eager to see how much they've been able to process. I'm hoping they've been able to process a lot of it, but I'm not sure if it will all be gone. But you can see our coffee filter that we put on here to mark the spot is breaking down. But we're just going to dig right in. And I see a good deal of worms, but not as many as I would have thought. But the interesting thing is I'm not immediately seeing bananas. I mean, we added a ton of bananas to these bins and see lots of baby worms as well as mature worms. But there's a banana stem but really no bananas to, to speak of, which is really interesting because that was, in my opinion, a huge amount of food. I thought that was gonna last them several weeks, but it looks like most, if not all of it, is gone. And the worms are well spread all throughout. But I'm just like absolutely shocked. I really thought that was going to be borderline too much food. And it doesn't appear that way at all. This guy looks kind of pale. Oh, maybe not. He was just upside down. But that's absolutely fantastic news that they've worked through so much and that they're doing so well. Hopefully it will be the same way in the eggshell bin so we can feed these guys today. I mean, but you can see these are some good sized worms, lots of babies, which is absolutely fantastic. But they're just actually all throughout the bin. And it is borderline muddy again in here, so gonna have to continue to be kind of aggressive with the bedding um, to keep the castings from getting anaerobic and kind of clay like which then becomes really difficult to dry out and then harvest but I'm not immediately seeing cocoons I'm always looking but again I mean when you see all of these baby worms, you know that they are, in fact, reproducing. But, try as I might, I can't seem to find much banana at all. So, that's pretty cool. I'm going to take a look at the um, eggshell bin, and then we'll decide what we're going to feed these guys today because they definitely are gonna need a feeding. And since we decided we were gonna to start to be more aggressive, it looks like they can handle it. So why not push the limits a little bit more today? Okay, so here we are with the eggshell bin. Similarly, the coffee filter is nearly gone and we're gonna dig right down where the bananas were and see what we can see. And it looks like these guys are actually in the area 
in higher numbers than what I saw over in the sand bin. Again, looking ultra healthy. Is that a cocoon? No, it doesn't look like it. It's interesting, I'm only seeing primarily springtails is the only kind of quote-unquote pest. I, I don't really like that word because they're just decomposers. Because I was a little concerned with all the banana and having a recent fruit fly issue that that could be a problem. But I'm really not seeing that at all. And again, I mean... I don't know about you guys, but I'm not seeing many banana bits at all. Maybe a little bit of stems here and there, but no skins left. They just completely annihilated it. But we'll do the same thing, kind of turn this bin all the way up. Same deal over here. It's kind of muddy, but there's no standing liquid and... Tons of babies. But you can hear that kind of squishing noise. It's um, definitely not the moisture content that I, I prefer. But it's just chock full. I know we have definitely doubled, if not tripled, our population from when we started. Maybe even more, because we started with, what, 50 worms? So yeah, we actually, we have to have a lot more than that at this point. But, even on the side where we didn't feed, quite a good number of worms. And this really just couldn't look, couldn't look any better. on camera focus there we go so that's absolutely fantastic let's get a little um, something together for them bedding food and we'll see if we can get these guys or can get these guys to continue to keep on rolling okay so the eggshell bin is gonna go first since I already have the camera up here Got a whole bunch of shredded newspaper and cardboard, kind of a combo. I'm going to do two large handfuls. That will help dry out some of these castings a bit. And I've kind of eyeballed a mix here of foods, but I did weigh them out. Um, so it's some bell pepper, some squash pieces, and uh, some onion. I think they'll be happy with this. And I actually think I'm gonna grab a piece of watermelon as well because these guys are gonna go, go through this stuff pretty quick. All right, so I weighed out the watermelon. Uh, this will add a ton of moisture, but you know, that's just a total mix of completely unfrozen uh, squash, bell peppers, onions, and uh, asparagus. And this will add a little bit more moisture. But because we're adding so much moisture and these bins are already muddy, I'm going to have to add a lot more bedding to make sure that we can maintain the moisture and, and try to remedy some of the wet castings. I'm not going to add any um, of our sand or eggshell today simply because we add a lot most feedings. And I don't have uh, any eggshells currently pulverized up. So I'm going to just skip that for today. It's a good practice to add um, some sort of grit source each and every time you feed, but um, as long as you're doing it most of the time, I don't think it's too much of a problem. I'm literally going to cover this up. This is six handfuls, I believe, here with dry bedding, and we will leave it for uh, another week 
and come back and see how they're doing. I would imagine with the unfrozen food, it will be a little bit uh, longer for them to work through it. But who knows, at this rate, you know, they're, they're really flying through it. I'm not going to film the feeding of the sand bin simply because this would get entirely too long. And I think my videos have been a little bit lengthy lately. So I'm going to try not to do that to you guys today. So let me know what you think. Drop those comments below. Like this video. Hit the bell for notifications. And subscribe if you're not a member of my community yet. I would love to have you. And I'll talk to you guys real soon. Have a great day.